Yes, this is a Logitech C920, and you might be wondering how exactly I got it to look this good. And in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how I did that and how you can do that too. And in order to show you guys exactly how to make webcam look absolutely insane, I am going to reset all of my settings to default so it's easier for you guys to know exactly what I do from the very start and you won't fall behind. I'm also going to turn off my lights and show the difference between my camera with and without the lights. So as you can see already, I had my settings fine-tuned to my lights, so now without the lights it looks very dark. As you can see right now, I'm running Stream Elements OBS. It's pretty much OBS Live, and it just adds a few more plugins if you're a little bit confused on why you have stuff that I don't, or why I have stuff that you don't. Alright, so to start it off, I'm going to reset all of my settings to default, and I'll be right back. As you can see on default settings, my face cam looks absolutely horrible. A lot of people actually stream on default settings, which is actually not a good idea. Start it off with, I recommend getting some lights. Getting two different lights is a lot better than one light. I don't know why, it just looks so much better. So I'm gonna turn them both on and continue the tutorial from there. If you don't have access to lights, that's completely fine. You can still go through all the same settings as me. To start off, I wanna find my webcam source. I want to right click it and go to properties. After you do that, you might have your thing to device default right here. It makes yourself look like a square. What you need to do is put it to custom. Change this to 1920 by 1080, which is the highest my webcam can go. Obviously, I cannot go any higher than that. Otherwise, my face cam does start lagging like crazy. I can't do anything about it. And if you don't know how high I can go, you gotta just test them out until it doesn't lag like crazy anymore. After you do that, this will probably be set to match output FPS or anything. Just put it to highest. Obviously, you want the webcam to be as high as possible, and it will not lag after you change all these settings. After you do that, you want to put your video format to any, which it should be on default. And color space, it should be default, which is actually 601. You want to set that to 709. It brings out the colors on the webcam a lot more. You also want to bring the color range to full. After you do all that, you want to scroll back up to configure video on your webcam. And what you're going to see is you're going to see a box like this. If you don't see a box like this, you're going to see a box like this. You can still go through all the same settings as me. They're called the same thing, but they're just in a different spot. So you can still follow along with this tutorial, but it might be a little bit more difficult for you to follow along, but it is still easily possible. First things first, turn off webcam mic. You obviously do not need that. That's what right sound is. Also, with autofocus, this is the very difficult part. You're actually going to want to use your focus. You want to turn off autofocus. You want to do it to yourself. As you can see, this is a little bit too blurry. I don't want to be this blurry. So what I need to do is I need to zoom in to my face and I need to put the focus so that my face is not blurred at all and the background is blurred a little bit. It, This little tiny step can go a long way. And now that I've configured my blur to be perfect to my face, I am done with the blur and I need to leave this here forever until I move my face cam angle, which will probably change the distance of the blur. After I do that, I'm going to want to uncheck all of these auto boxes, uncheck every single box and have nothing automatic. What you guys need to understand is that exposure, the lower it is, the better the frame rate's going to be. The higher it is, the worse the frame rate's going to be. So I have it at max. The frame rate is horrible. It is not looking good at all. So what I need to do is keep turning it down until the FPS is better. And right here, it looks like it's better. But if I go down, it's even better than that. And if I go down more than that, is even better and this is probably the best the FPS is gonna get. The reason I'm waving my hand is so I can check whether the FPS is lagging. With the gain I'm gonna want to set this or it might be the correct setting to my face cam so if I think I need to be this bright boom I leave it that bright. And after that you want to leave all of these brightness contrast and color intensity you need to keep these to the middle do not move these at all because I'm gonna add a filter that'll change all of those but in a much easier way. With the white balance, I'm going to want to turn this to the color where it most looks like the correct color. Obviously, you don't want it to look like this. You don't want it to look like this. You just want it to look like the correct color. So you want to put it somewhere where it looks normal. After you do that, you want to click save. You're also going to want to click OK. And then you're done with the configure video settings. As you can see, I'm not completely done with configuring my webcam. It can look a lot better. So what I did to make my webcam look even better is I right clicked my webcam source. I go ahead. I went ahead and clicked filters, I added color correction. So I clicked the little plus down here and then I click color correction. And the reason I'm adding some color correction is because it looks so much better with the color correction. I recommend turning the gamma down maybe by 5 and turning the brightness down maybe by like 2 or 3, turning the contrast up maybe by like 10. People's lighting situations are different from each other so Maybe you're going to want to have your contrast higher than other people's, or maybe you want to have yours low. I like to have mine around 12 or 13. The numbers don't need to be exact, but it looks pretty good with that. And you also might think, it doesn't look as good as before. That's because I need to add some saturation. I turn mine up until it's like at 70. 
it might look a little bit high right now, but some people have really great rooms. They want to turn theirs up to two. Some people have really, really bright rooms, so they might not want to turn theirs up by much. But I recommend turning it up as much as you can without it looking too bad. It looks, it makes the webcam look so much better, so much brighter, and so much nicer. After that, you are pretty much all done with the color correction settings. Then what you're going to need to do is add another filter to the webcam. And the filter I want to add is sharpness. And you just need to click plus and then click sharpen. And I literally just leave this at default. It looks a lot better with sharpness. You don't want to have it too high, obviously because then the webcam looks a little bit weird and it doesn't look the greatest and if you don't want to have it too low because then the filter won't even do anything i recommend keeping it at default which is eight and honestly this little tiny change just makes the webcam look a lot better it makes the background look a little bit more blurry compared to your face which makes it a little bit more sharp and that is literally all i had to do to make my webcam look so much better compared to the start if you guys want to watch me stream, I stream every single day from 5.15 to 7.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys ever want to watch streamer, go ahead, follow me down in the description. Also, link is right on the screen right here. If this tutorial helped you out at all, even like one little tip, if it helped you a little bit, go ahead, drop a like. But if this tutorial completely sucked, dislike the video and tell me down in the comments why it actually was so bad because I do want to try to improve my content. Don't forget to subscribe if you do want to see any more videos from me in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.